Now, after discussing varieties of beautiful shortcut methods in similar triangles, now let us move on to the next topic and we will solve some good questions. Almost all the questions, whatever I am solving, are virginal examination questions. It might be in SSC, CGL, or SSC, some other examinations, or CAT examinations. Let us see some very, very beautiful questions related to area and perimeter of a rectangle. Let us only concentrate on rectangle for this particular con topic. And then we will move on to square, trapezium, parallelogram, each and every variety we will discuss sir. We will only concentrate on examination problems. Now first of all, I am sure that this I already explained you people in the beginning of my class. This is my rectangle. Rectangle will have some length. Rectangle, uh, let me name this rectangle first of all as A, B, C, D, right? If I name it as A, B, C, D, rectangle is having some length. The opposite sides in a rectangle are equal. The opposite side, this side A, D and B, C are also equal. That is nothing but my breadth B. And rectangle is nothing but a parallelogram, right? Rectangle is also a parallelogram, but the difference between the parallelogram and rectangle is here all the angles are 90 degrees. Here all the angles are 90 degrees. In parallelogram, it is not 90 degrees. If I make a parallelogram come straight, that means look like a 90 degrees or become exactly equal to 90 degrees, then it becomes a rectangle right then it becomes a rectangle next what is that i have told you again l is nothing but the length b is nothing but the breadth so perimeter of a rectangle is nothing but l plus b plus l plus b or it is 2 into length plus breadth 2 into l plus b is the perimeter of the rectangle and i have also taught you the area of the rectangle that is nothing but length into breadth all these things we have discussed in my starting of uh, mentionation two dimensional topic itself uh, i am just uh, revising before i start the problem with respect to rectangle area and perimeter now what else we have learned sir what else we have learned can i say that uh, suppose for example if i draw a diagonal if i draw a diagonal ac if i draw another diagonal bd right if i draw a diagonal ac and if i draw another diagonal bd i can also say that uh, the diagonals of rectangle are equal. That means uh, in this diagram, AC is equal to BD. AC is equal to BD is in this diagram. But in general, the diagonals of a rectangle are always equal in length. And let me call that diagonal as a small letter D. Because it is starting with the diagonal D, I will call it as small letter D. That D is given by if I apply Pythagoras theorem because it is 90 degrees, this is L square, this is B square. Diagonal is D, right? So it is D square is equal to L square plus B square. But D is nothing but square root of L square plus B square. The diagonal of a rectangle is always nothing but equal to square root of L square plus B square. And both the diagonals are equal in length in a rectangle. Suppose for example, if I call the diagonal AC as D1 and diagonal BD as D2, D1 will be definitely equal to D2. AC is nothing but B, D1, BD is nothing but D2. So D1 will be definitely equal to D2 in case of a rectangle. And another thing which you should definitely know for a rectangle is diagonals will always bisect each other that means d1 and d2 in this particular diagram they will always bisect each other they will always bisect each other bisect is nothing but they will split it into two parts that means diagonal d1 and d2 they will bisect each other but in case of a rectangle that diagonal d1 and d2 whatever the diagonals d1 and d2 which are bisecting each other they may not be perpendicular to each other they may not be perpendicular to each other sir what if they become perpendicular to each other what if the diagonals become perpendicular to each other then that becomes a square sir i hope i am making sense for you right you are understanding a very very subtle difference between between this particular uh, what do you say, geometrical figure rectangle and 
uh, what do you say the other geometrical figure square if the diagonals bisect each other that becomes a concept of a square right that becomes a concept sorry diagonals here also bisect each other in fact if the diagonals if the diagonals are perpendicular to each other if the diagonals are perpendicular to each other then it becomes a square and another property of a rectangle i will write it here at the bottom or let me write it at the top of the screen the diagonals d1 and d2 they are not perpendicular right sir d1 and d2 they are not perpendicular they are not the angular bisectors also that means uh, they might not divide the angle into two equal halves right they are not angular bisectors also sir what if the diagonals become perpendicular to each other it becomes a square what if the diagonals become the angular bisectors it becomes a square once again that square concept we will discuss when i am teaching you the concept or the problems of squares before solving square problem you will understand like this only we will list out some important key points with respect to that geometrical figure and then move on to square problems but at present moment we will concentrate only on rectangles and these are the properties or definitions of rectangle i hope the idea is very very clear diagram I have drawn the length and breadth are different in rectangle. Opposite sides are equal. Opposite all the angles are 90 degrees. The rectangle is also a parallelogram, or I can say in general as a quadrilateral basically. But it's a parallelogram with all the angles being 90 degree in this case. So perimeter of rectangle is 2 into L plus B. Area of rectangle is L into B, where L is the length and B is the breadth. And the diagonals of rectangle will always be equal in length. And diagonals is given by the notation root of length square plus breadth square from the Pythagorean triplets or Pythagoras theorem. The, those diagonals what we are talking about right now, those will not be those will not be perpendicular to each other, but they will bisect each other. And the diagonals will not be the angular bisector. They will not, they will not bisect the angle into two equal part. I hope it is very, very clear till this point. Now let us solve some questions based on this concept. Now listen carefully, sir. I already told you majority of the questions what I am taking are your original examination question. I am not taking any question probably which is not an original examination question. If there is some good question but it was not asked in the examination unfortunately, I might add some questions but majority of my questions are original examination questions itself. Now see here sir. Question is the length and breadth of a rectangular field are in the ratio 3 is to 2. That means they are saying that length and breadth of a rectangular are in the ratio 3 is to 2. If I take it as 3x and 2x, let me take it as 3x and 2x. If the per 80 meters, that means perimeter of the field, perimeter of a rectangle is nothing but 2 times of L plus B. It is 2 times of L plus B and perimeter is given as 80 meter. Its breadth in meters is how much? So 80 is equal to 2 times of 3x plus 2x. So 80 is equal to 2 times of 5x. 2 times of 5x. 2 into 1, 2 into 40. 5 into 1, 5 into 8. So x value is 8. Back substitute this value of x in your breadth. Breadth is nothing but 2x. So 2x is equal to 2 into 8. Answer for this easy question is 16 meters. Answer for this question is 16 meters, which is nothing but option B. But this is my method one because I believe that you might have realized already looking into so many topics of videos of A and C that we do not usually follow the method of variables as given in textbooks. You don't need variables and get the value of that variable back substitute it. Without variables itself, you can solve it. That I will call it as my method two, which is nothing but A and C way of solving problem. Now listen to this method two, sir. Every please concentrate on this method too. The question says length and breadth of a rectangle are in the ratio 3 is to 2. Don't take it as 3x and 2x. Simple language I can say that according to the ratio length is 3 meters. According to the ratio breadth is 2 meters. According to the ratio 
perimeter is 2 into L plus B. L plus B is 3 plus 2, 5. What is 2 times of 5? 2 times of 5 is 10. According to ratio, perimeter is 10. According to the question, perimeter is 80. It is given in the question. 10 into 80 is 80. 2 also multiply by 8. 2 into 8 is 16. This 8 only is what you got the value as x in your previous method. But why to write all these things and waste your time? Rather you can directly solve it and convert back according to the question. Let us understand that kind of methodology as we solve more and more problems. Anyway, this kind of methodology I have already taught you in multiple problems multiple topics i think it should not be a difficulty for all my enrolled students i hope the idea till now is very very clear for you people see the second question sir please see the second question again original ssc question in the year 2008 now see this question question is if the length and the perimeter of a rectangle are in the ratio 5 is to 16 they are saying that length and perimeter they are in the ratio 5 is to 16 length and perimeter are in the ratio 5 is to 16 then its length and breadth will be in the ratio of what what is the ratio of length is to breadth is the question right length is to breadth ratio they are asking you in the question now see here sir first of all can i say that i know that perimeter is 2 times of L plus B, right? It is 2 times of L plus B. Now, it is given in the question that length divided by perimeter. Perimeter is nothing but 2 times of L plus B. Length divided by perimeter is 5 divided by 16. 2 into 1, 2 into 8. That means it is nothing but length divided by length plus breadth is equal to 5 divided by 8. Length divided by length plus, length plus breadth is equal to 5 divided by 8. Now, if I cross multiply and simplify, if I cross multiply and simplify this, this I can get it as 8L. 8L is equal to 5L plus 5B. So, this becomes 8L minus 5L. It is 3L. 3L is equal to 5B. They are asking you the ratio of length is to breadth. I will write it once again here. 3L is equal to 5B. L by B is nothing but equal to 5 by 3. Or in other words, L is to B is nothing but equal to 5 is to 3. So this is what my answer is. And that is nothing but option 4. Now, you can also simplify this. Instead of cross multiplying and doing all these things and getting the final value, you can also do like this. Now think logically, sir. In numerator, I have L. In denominator also, one of the parameter is L. But in numerator, only L is present. That value is 5. That means, numerator L value, I wrote it 5. Denominator also L I have. That also should be 5. 5 plus something should give you 8. 5 plus something should give you 8. That something is 3. That means, length is 5. Breadth is 3. So, length into breadth directly you can get it as 5 is to 3. That means you don't need to actually cross multiply, simplify and divide one by the other and get, then get the final value with a little bit of understanding or common sense. You can get it a little faster itself. But anyway, having said that, this will act as my method 1. This will definitely act as my method 1. Now, listen to my second method, sir. Method 2. Method 2, whatever I am solving in method 2, I will solve it by using answer options. And let us see how fast we can solve it by using answer options. First thing is, length and perimeter are given in the ratio 5 is to 16. Length and perimeter are 5 is to 16. Question is, find the ratio of length and breadth. Length and breadth ratio they need to, they are asking you people. There are four options which are given in the question. Let me write all the four options so that I will not keep on going back to the previous slide. 5 is to 11, 5 is to 8, 5 is to 4, 5 is to 3. Let me write it. 5 is to 11, 5 is to 8, 5 is to 4, 5 is to 3. Now, Think little logically, sir, you will get the answer. This is the beauty of learning through this concept. Now, think little logically. First of all, 
perimeter is nothing but 16 according to the ratio length is nothing but 5 according to the ratio that means this length also should be 5 only right that means answer option should start with 5 the first option is also starting with 5 second also starting with 5 third and fourth are also starting with 5 i cannot use that logic which is the smartest way and mark this answer option because all the options are starting with 5 okay that was a very good way of thinking but unfortunately my answer options are not supporting it okay that is okay sir no issue sir. now perimeter is 16 can i say that perimeter is 16 means perimeter is 16 means what is the meaning of it okay first of all in the question it is given that length is to perimeter is length is to perimeter is 5 is to 16 now think little logically First thing says that, first thing, if you observe here, if you observe here, perimeter is nothing but add the length and breadth and double it. That is the meaning of perimeter, right sir? Perimeter is nothing but add length and breadth and double it. That means answer options are given in that, these both are nothing but length and breadth. Now that means if I add these two, 5 plus 11 is 16, double of 16 is 32, it cannot be 16, perimeter here is 32, but perimeter in the given question is 16, it cannot be the right answer, ruled out, 5 plus 8 is 13, double of 13 is 26, not equal to 16 perimeter, ruled out, 5 plus 9 is, 5 plus 4 is 9, double of 9 is 18, it is not equal to 16, right, double of 9 is 18, not equal to 16, so not not equal to 16 this also is ruled out out of four options if three are incorrect only one should be correct 5 plus 3 is 8 double of 8 is 16 16 is equal to 16 which is given in the question therefore that should be the correct answer that means think little logically sir we all know that perimeter of rectangle means add length and breadth and then double it this is nothing but the perimeter think logically i know that answer option for correct answer for this question is 5 is to 3 which is the fourth option even if it is fourth option adding 5 and 11 as 16 and then doubling that 16 to get 32 and then saying that 32 is not equal to the value which is given in the question as 16 for perimeter how much time are you taking add in 5 and 11 and doubling it it is hardly one second time sir and 32 and this 32 is not equal to 16 to tell that it is one more second that means you might have taken two seconds it is only two seconds to say that first option is incorrect another two seconds to say that second option is incorrect another two seconds to say that third option is incorrect if three are incorrect out of four options do you need to check it for the fourth option you don't even have to check it don't even wait another two seconds mark it and move ahead that means you can complete this question in maximum six seconds of time with this beautiful way of answer options forget about six seconds sir so i could not do the first option in two seconds assume that you took four seconds itself even if you take four seconds to say that first option is wrong four seconds to say second option is wrong another four seconds to say third option is wrong you might have ended up this problem in 12 to 15 seconds which which, which is much more better compared to solving in this method by at least wasting 45 to 50 seconds of time i believe that the, you are understanding the ideology in solving a problem without using variables l plus b all those things and wasting your time rather than using a smarter way of solving and thereby getting the answers in a faster way i hope i am making sense for each and every student who is watching this video next question see this next question sir i am not putting this question this is your virginal examination question once again similar kind of question what we have solved just now the length and perimeter of a rectangle are in the ratio 5 is to 18 length and perimeter is 5 is to 18 beautiful then the length and breadth will be in what ratio length and breadth is in what ratio now 
it is one second answer so how are you saying that it is only one second sir i am really excited to know how it is one second because length according to the ratio is 5 here also length should be 5 only that means answer should start with 5 there is only one option all the other options are not starting with 5 all the other options are incorrect answer is option c Sir, what if another option is also starting with 5? Or what if all the options are starting with 5? Yes, sir. If all the options are starting with 5, I already taught you my second question. This is my next question what I am solving. But this is the luck you will definitely get sometimes. Where only one option might be satisfying. The, there you need to be very very smarter in solving the second in one or two seconds and move ahead with the next problem very fast. I hope you are getting the logic. Sir, that is okay sir. This is beautiful. This is something extraordinary. Only one option is satisfying. But I assume that four options are also starting with five which you already explained in second problem. But can you explain once again sir? Yes. If I take this option check it out perimeter i want to get it as 18 length plus length plus breadth it is nothing but 5 plus 4 is 9 what is the double of 9 it is 18 and that is what is given in the question also therefore this should be the correct answer very very easy and logical way of solving sir next question again your original ssc question see this question sir your question is if the area of the rectangle x square plus 7x plus 10 square centimeter is there should be something called as is here which is missing if the area of the rectangle is x square plus 7x plus 10 square centimeter then one of the possible perimeter of it is how much and expression is given in terms of area is given in terms of variables answer options are also given in terms of variables now see here sir they are saying that area is x square plus 7x plus 10 so area is nothing but length into breadth area of rectangle is length into breadth that means this expression i should express as a product of two expressions that means x square plus 7x plus 10 can be written as x square plus 2x plus 5x plus 10 all these simplifying the quadratic equations i will not teach you right now sir you might have studied in your school days itself that means this becomes x into x plus 2 x into x plus 2 plus 5 into x plus 2 so finally length into breadth becomes x plus 5 x plus 5 into x plus 2 x plus 5 into x plus 2 now one of the possible perimeter they are asking you in the question perimeter of the rectangle is it is nothing but 2 into l plus b so 2 into l is x plus y 5 breadth is b is x plus 2 so this becomes 2 times of 2x plus 7 this is nothing but 2 into 2x is 4x 2 into 2x is 4x plus 2 into 7 is 14 so it is nothing but 4x plus 14 centimeter which is option a but so much of variables are involved sir entire problem has actually been converted to algebra in this question why it is converted to algebra because the question also is given in terms of algebra only right that means in terms of variables only right so it has become an algebraic question for for your information but our duty is to convert an algebraic question to a numerical question what are you telling sir how can i do it area is given as x square plus 7x plus 10 what i will do is language i will put x is equal to 1 should i put x is equal to 1 itself no you can put any value for x but the smallest easiest value for x is 1 or i you can also take x value as 0 also right 0 is also something which is a beautiful number you take any value whatever you like so i am taking it as 1 so area becomes 1 plus 7 is 8 8 plus 10 is 18 area becomes 18 if if 
exceed 1. But what is the meaning of area? Area is nothing but length into breadth. Length into breadth is 18. Now, if I multiply two positive numbers, then why positive numbers? Length and breadth cannot be negative beta. So, if I multiply two positive numbers, I should get it as 18. 1 into 18 is 18. 2 into 9 is 18. 3 into 6 is 18. And again the reverse case. 6 into 3, 9 into 2, 18 into 1. Now see here sir. Can I say that? Can I say that? I need to get one of the possible perimeters out of the given options. That means, can I say that? First option is 4x plus 14. 4 into 1 plus 14. It is nothing but 18. Second option is 2x plus 14. It is nothing but 2 plus 14, 16. Third option is x plus 4. 1 plus 4 is 5. Fourth option is 2x plus 7. 2 plus 7 is 9. Any one of these correct should, options should be correct. Now, can I say that length into breadth is 18 means perimeter should be how much? Add length and breadth. It is 1 plus 18, 19. Twice of 19 is 38. But 38 is not there in any of these options. So that cannot be the one of the perimeter. That, that is not the value. 2 into 9, it is 18. Double of 18 is 36. Perimeter is 36, but none of the option is giving. No problem. 3 into 6, 3 plus 6 is 9. Double of 9 is 18. So, 18 can be one of the perimeter, which is nothing but option A. And I also got the same option A in this particular logic of solving by using method 1. You use method 1 or you use method 2. It really does not make, make any difference. I believe that you are getting the logic and you are understanding whatever I am trying to solve in this particular case. Let's, I hope no question should be difficult for you. Sir, you told x is equal to 1. You also said x is equal to 0 is another beautiful easy number to work with. Can you please tell and prove it? Can you please show it and prove it? x square plus 7x plus 10 is the area. So if I put x is equal to 0, then area becomes 0 plus 0 plus 10. Area becomes 10. First of all, let me put all the answer options. First option is 4x plus 14. Okay, let me see it here itself. x value is 0. First option is 14. Second option is also 14. Third option is 4. Fourth option is 2. That means first option is 14. Second option is also 14. Third option is 4, right? Third option is, how much is the third option, sir? 4. Fourth option is 7, in fact, right? It is 7. Now, if I say this, length into breadth should be equal to 10. So, that means it is 1 into 10 is 10 or it is 2 into 5 is 10. 1 into 10, length and breadth are 1 and 10. 1 plus 10 is 11. 2 times of 11 is 22. Perimeter should be 22, but none of the options are present like that. 2 plus 5 is 7. Double of 7 is 14. So, 14 can be one of the perimeter. But, there are two options which are having 14. Will you mark option A or option B? Now, there is an ambiguity. That is the reason I did not take x is equal to 0 initially. I took x is equal to 1 and I solved it. I hope I am making sense for you people, sir. See the next question. SSC graduate level tier 1 question in 2013. How beautifully, how fast you can solve it. Perimeter of a rectangular plot is 48 meters. Perimeter is 48. Area is 108 meters square. What are the dimensions of the plot? Answer options are given. Now see here sir. Perimeter is 48. Area is 108. First option is 36 and 3. Length is 36, breadth is 3. If I add those two, 36 plus 3, will it be equal to 36 plus 3 is how much? 39. Double of 39 is nothing but it is 78. Will it be equal to perimeter 48? No, that cannot be the right answer. Second option is 12 plus 9 is 21. Double of 21 is 42. 42 is not equal to 48. Ruled out. 27 plus 4 is 31. 31 double is 62. 62 is not equal to 48. Third option is also ruled out. Out of 3, 4 options, 3 are incorrect. 
फोर्थ शुड बी करेक्ट इफ यू वांट टू चेक इट आउट 18 प्लस 6 इज 24 डबल ऑफ 24 इज 48 एंड दैट इज इक्वल टू व्हाट इज गिवन इन द क्वेश्चन आल्सो देयरफॉर इट इज द फोर्थ ऑप्शन व्हिच इज करेक्ट हाउ मच टाइम विल आई टेक टू टेल दिस सर फर्स्ट ऑप्शन इट इज इनकरेक्ट टू से दैट फर्स्ट ऑप्शन 36 प्लस 9 इज 39 एंड डबल ऑफ 39 इज 48 व्हिच इज सॉरी 78 which is not equal to 48 to tell that you will hardly take 2 to 3 seconds that means first option 3 seconds second option 3 seconds third option 3 seconds you should complete this problem within 10 seconds or maximum 15 seconds don't write all those equations 2 into L plus B is 48. L plus B is 24. L plus B is 24. L into B is 108. Two variables, two equations. Wow, I can solve it by quadratic equations, right? Don't keep on doing it, sir. I hope I am making sense for you people. Next question. Next. The length of a plot is 5 times its breadth. Length is nothing but 5 times of breadth. So, length by breadth is equal to 5 is to 1. That means the ratio of length and breadth is 5 is to 1. A playground measuring 245 square meters occupies half of the total area of the plot. What is the total length of the plot? That means, see here sir. There is a rectangular plot. How can you say that it is rectangular plot? Because length and breadth are not equal. Therefore, it is not a square. It is a rectangle. That means, can I say that this is the total rectangular plot? Question says, a playground measuring 245 square meters. That means, the entire area of this, entire area of this is 245 meters square. And a playground occupies half of the total area of the plot half of the total area that means i will draw a diagonal in between half of the total area of the plot is occupied by playground that means whatever i am shading right now in red color red color portion this is nothing but a playground right this is nothing but a playground and it is given in the question that it is nothing but half of the total area of the plot your question is what is the length of the plot find the length of the plot is the question now see here can i say like this very very easy way of solving question very very easy way now length is to breadth is 5 is to 1 that means can i say that according to the ratio length is 5 according to the ratio breadth is 1 so total area according to the ratio is length into breadth it is 5 into 1 it is nothing but 5 according to the ratio it is 5 but according to the question it is clearly mentioned here sir probably i made a small mistake at the starting of this problem a playground measuring 245 square meter that means this area of whatever i have written as 245 is the area of this playground only the red color shaded portion is that area 245 but it is exactly half of the total one that means total area of this rectangular plot is 245 plus 245 it is 490 according to the ratio it is 5 according to the question it is 490 5 should become 490 multiplying factor is 98 now they are asking you what is the length of the plot according to the ratio length is 5 according to the question how much that 5 also should be multiplied by how much 98 that is incorrect sir 5 should not be multiplied by 98 i have taught you so many times area is in meter square length is in meters right length is in meters that means meter square if you want to convert to meter you will take the square root of meter square and then multiply. Same thing here also. This 5 should be multiplied with the square root of 98. That means I should multiply 5 with square root of 98. 98 is 49 into 2. That means I will multiply 5 with 7 root 2. So final answer is 7 into 5. 
35 root 2 which is nothing but my option A. I hope this logic is clear. If the multiplying factor in area is 98, then the multiplying factor in length or breadth, where the unit is in meters, it should be square root of 98. Similarly, vice versa is also true, reverse is also true. If the length or breadth is having a multiplying factor of a square root of 98, then area should be multiplied with square root of 98 whole square because the unit of area is meter square. I hope it is clear. We have solved already several kind of questions of this sort. I think it should not be a difficulty for you people. See the next question sir. Please see this next question. Your question says, if the length and breadth of a rectangle are in the ratio 3 is to 2, that means length and breadth of rectangle are in the ratio 3 is to 2 and its perimeter is 20 centimeters then find the area of the rectangle in centimeter square now same logic perimeter according to the ratio is l plus b is 3 plus 2 5 what is the double of 5 double of 5 is 10 sir why are you doubling l plus b because perimeter is l plus b into 2 that is the perimeter so according to ratio it is 10 Question says it is not 10, it should be 20, right? It should be 20. So, perimeter is multiplied by how much? Perimeter is multiplied by 2. Now, question says find the area. According to the ratio, area is length into breadth. 3 into 2, 6. According to question, they are asking you how much? You should not multiply this 6 with same multiplying factor 2. Just in previous question I explained. Perimeter is in centimeter. Area is in centimeter square. That means whatever multiplying factor you have multiplied for perimeter as 2. Area should be multiplied by 2 square. Or it in another words it is 4. So 6 into 4 is 24. These all will look like very easy question. But it will be even more easier for you. If you solve in the methodology which I'm, whichever I am teaching you right now sir. Please see the next question. Question number 8. The perimeter of the top of a rectangular table is 28 meters. Perimeter is given as 28 meters. Whereas its area is 48 meters square. Area is 48 meters square. What is the length of its diagonal? They are not asking you the length of the rectangle. They are asking you the length of the diagonal. That means diagonal value I need to find. Now first of all, I don't want to use it as perimeter is 2 into L plus B. This is 28. So L plus B will be equal to 28 by 2 which is 14. And area is nothing but 48. Area is L into B. So I have two equations. L plus B is equal to 48. L into B is equal to, sorry, L plus B is equal to 14. L into B equal to 48. I don't want to write all these things in my examination hall and scribble my head in getting the value of these two unknown variables and thereby find the value of D. Now see here sir, length, area is 48. Length into breadth is 48. What are the possible values which will give you 48? 1 into 48 is 48. But in this case, perimeter cannot be 28. Now think logically. Perimeter means length and breadth I should add it. For 1 plus 48 is 20, 49. And I should double it again to get perimeter. Already length plus breadth itself is 20, 49. It is more than 28. When I double it, will it be equal to 28? No, it will be more than 49 in fact. So this cannot be the value. Similarly, 2 plus 24. 2 into 24. 2 plus 24 is also 26. Double is 52. Rolled out. 3 plus 16, 19 double is 38, not equal to 28, ruled out. 4 plus 12, 16 double is 32, not equal to 28, ruled out. 6 plus 8, 6 into 8 is 48, 6 plus 8 is 14, 14 double is 28. Now, length is 6, breadth is 8, right, breadth is 8. I want to find the diagonal. 
diagonal is root of L square plus B square root 100 which is nothing but 10 meters. Option B. Quickly tell me the answer for this question sir. You should be very quick. A rectangular carpet has an area of 120 meter square. Forget about the other things. 120 means 1 into 120, 2 into 60, 3 into 40, 4 into 30, 6 into 20, 6 into 20 or 5 into 24 also I can write. 8 into 15 and then the reverse of these things will follow. 15 into 8, 24 into 5, 20 into 6 all those things reverse follows. Now perimeter is 46 it seems. Perimeter is 46. Now think logically sir. 46 means the one of the value of length and breadth should be very much less than 46. That means first thing I will rule out is 3 and 30. 4 and 30. 3 and 40 ruled out. 4 and 30 also it is very closer to 46. 30 is slightly closer. So what I will do is I will directly go to this last option because that is very much far away from 46. Let us check it out. 8 plus 5 is 23. 23 double is nothing but 46 and that is what is given here also. So length is 8. Length is 8. Breadth is 15. Diagonal is square root of length square plus breadth square. It is 225 plus 64 289. Square root of 289 is 17 meters which is option C. You will first solve it faster if you know this kind of beautiful shortcuts. The sides of a rectangular pot are in the ratio 5 is to 4. That means length and breadth are in the ratio 5 is to 4. Beautiful. First statement is very clear. And its area is equal to 500 meter square. Area is given in the question as 500 meter square. Find the perimeter of the plot. Length of a plot. The sides of a rectangular plot in the, are in the ratio 5 is to 4. Area is 500 meter square. Find the Find the perimeter of the plot. Same logic, sir. According to the ratio, area is length into breadth. 5 into 4 is 20. But question says it is not 20. It is 500. 2 into which number is 50? 2 into 25 is 50. Or 20 into which number is 500? 20 into 25 is 500. They are asking you to find the perimeter. Perimeter according to the ratio is L plus B is 5 plus 4, 9. Double of 9 is 18. So you should multiply with this. Not 5 right now. Because area is in meter square. Perimeter is in meter. So I should multiply with the square root of 25, which is nothing but 5. 18 into 5 is 90. All these are very, very easy way of solving the question if you know the logic. Sir, yes sir, this kind of questions you taught me so easily. This is where your logic or your brain should work. Now see here sir. Yes, I solved this problem. I got the answer as 90. Beautiful. I don't have any doubt with this sir. Now, you can actually get the answer without writing all these things in fact. Without writing all these things, you can actually get the answer. By writing all these things itself is very easy solving. But without writing, how can I do it? Now see here, method 2. It is only because of answer options you are able to solve method 2 for this question. Length and breadth are in the ratio. 5 is to 4. I don't even have to worry about the area. First of all, what are the answer options which are given, sir? Think logically, what are the answer options? 80, 100, 90, 95. 80, 100, 90, 95. Now see here. Find out what is the area or find out what is, first of all, what is the main question? Find the perimeter of the plot. Let me find out perimeter itself according to the ratio. According to the ratio, perimeter is 5 plus 4, 9. Double of 9 is 18. According to ratio, perimeter is 18. According to the question, how much? That means 18 should be multiplied by something or in other language. Answer should be a multiple of 18. There is only one option, right? 90 is the only one option which is a multiple of, what is that, 18. You might get it out. Sir, 
okay sir whatever you said is beautiful but how can you justify that this multiplying factor is a whole number yes you justified the multiplying factor as 5 which is a whole number in method 1 but I am not at all using method 1 for example in my examination hall I am directly trying with method 2 how can you justify that this is your this is your multiplying factor is whole number but not a decimal value or not a third value root 3 or whatever it is or a fractional value now see here sir to if you ask me that question I can simply say that to you saying that I can simply say that to you saying that you just assume in that case you assume that it should be a multiple of 18 only right you are not concluding it in that case whether you don't know whether it's a multiplying factor is a whole number or a fractional value so you are not concluding that it's a multiple of 18 so you cannot exactly say that it is 90 in that case assume it as 90 because all the other options are not even multiples of 18 so assume it as 90 if i assume the perimeter as 90 then if you really want cross check with your area area should give you as 500 meter square but what i suggest is 95 percentage of the times your multiplying factor will always be whole numbers 95 percentage of the times what if another 5 percentage of the time comes in the examination sir you should take chance you should take risk in your life to succeed in your life same is the case if you have really so much of time in your examination please do all these things and get the value and have that hundred percent faith or confidence that my answer 90 is hundred percent right if you have very very little time and you have more number of questions to be solved just take risk and think that multiplying factor will be whole number and there is only one option which is a multiple of 18 which is 90 mark it and move forward sir don't even think twice mark it and move ahead simple I hope I am very very making sense for you. Making sense is nothing but I think you are understanding when you should actually solve the entire thing, when you should not. And I am telling you the answer options will be the biggest clue in so many questions. Keep an eye on your answer option that will help you tremendously when you are well in your problem solving. I hope it is very very clear for you people. Next question. Please see the 11th question. Again a very beautiful question. The question says the length of a rectangular hall is 5 meter more than its breadth they are not saying you that length of a rectangle is 5 meters what is that 5 times of breadth so it is 5 meters more than breadth that means length is 5 meters more than breadth so it is 5 plus b or b plus 5 next the area of the hall is 750 meter square area is given in the question as 750 meter square find the length of the hall find the length of the hall is your question now see here sir area is 750 that means length into breadth is 750 now length into breadth is 750 but length is b plus 5 b plus 5 into b is equal to 750 now you should check it out b square plus 5b is equal to 750 b square plus 5b minus 750 is equal to 0 now you will get two values for b and probably one of them will be negative take the positive substitute here substitute here in b value and you will get a length value also but if you observe if you are little smart this is a very very lengthy process right sir i did not solve it so it happened so fast but you should solve this quadratic equation b square plus 5b minus 750 you should solve it and then you should check it out which value of which value is satisfying get the two values of b back substitute in l is equal to b plus 5 get l value then mark ahead with your answer options but it is a very lengthy process therefore i term this method as method one because you are using quadratic equation to solve it i hope it is clear for you right yes some problems we will definitely use quadratic equation but wherever it is not necessary 
at least learn some other techniques sir, which will save our time to a larger extent now see here sir let us solve it by our method too now they are saying that question says length is 5 more than breadth and the question also says area is 750 meter square now what are the answer options first of all what is the question find the length of the hall that means question is length that means answer options are also representing length first value is length is 15 second value is second value is length is 22.5 i am writing it because i don't like to turn around my screen once again third and fourth are 25 and 30 but you don't need to write all these things in the examination now see here sir can i say that length is 5 more than breadth this is the clue in the question that means breadth should be 5 less than length it is 10 here the breadth is 22.5 5 less is 17.5 here the breadth is 20 and in the last case the breadth is nothing but 25 now area is length into breadth right sir when i multiply it i should get when i multiply length and breadth i should get 750 which option is satisfying do you really require so much of time in creating this quadratic equation and solving it i definitely think you don't need all these worst method to be followed this is the beautiful way of solving and i am telling you you don't need to write all these things in the exam see it is difficult for you you are sitting in front of a computer in an examination hall and you saw the first option length as 15 to say in your mind that breadth is 5 less than 15 breadth is 10 do you really need to write it in a sheet of paper no i don't think so and to tell that length into breadth is 15 into 10 150 that is not equal to 750 do you really need a pen for it no you don't need a pen first option is ruled out second option definitely is ruled out because decimal into decimal will not give you a whole number or in other language a number is ending with 5 into number is ending with 5 a number cannot end with 0 it is ruled out second option is ruled out third option can i say that 25 into 20 do you need a pen to solve it 25 into 2 is 50 50 followed by 10 it is 500 but question say 750 beta no it is not the right answer out of four options three are incorrect four should be correct you don't even have to check it sir i want to cross check it i want to verify check check it out so 25 into 3 is 75 followed by 10 so 750 is equal to 750 that should be the correct answer simple right and i don't want you people to write all these things in a sheet of paper and then keep on multiplying 15 into 10 is 150 okay that is not equal to 750 i am writing for your understanding everything i am writing here only for your understanding that does not mean that you should also write all these things in the examination i hope i am very very clear in saying whatever i want to convey you people sir please see the next question please see the next question original ssc cgl tier 2 question in the year 2013 a lawn is in the form of a rectangle having its breadth and length in the ratio 3 is to 4 that means length and breadth it is in the ratio 4 is to 3 breadth and length is 3 is to 4 length and breadth should be 4 is to 3 simple the area of the lawn is half hectare now this is something which you need to know it is not half actually it is 1 by 12 is what is given in the question there is a mistake which is while typing so area of the rectangle or the lawn is 1 by 12 hectare 1 by 12 hectare in all the problems we are more comfortable in solving the problems with respect to meter square or centimeter square sir please teach us that method itself if you want to convert your hectare to meter square you should multiply by 10000 right that means area is 10000 by 12 meter square in simple language now what is the question find the breadth of the lawn find the breadth of the lawn simple sir according to the ratio area is 4 into 3 12 according to ratio it is 12 according to the question it is 10000 divided by 12 that means 12 should become 10000 divided by 12 that means multiply by 12 10000 because 12 into 10000 is 12 into 10000 here one 12 will come but i don't want that 
डिवाइड बाई ट्वेल्व इंटू ट्वेल्व नाउ इफ यू चेक इट औट ट्वेल्व इंटू टेन थउसेंड बै ट्वेलव इंटू ट्वेलव दिस ट्वेल्व दिस ट्वेल कैंसल यू आर लेफ्ट ओनली विथ टेन थउसेंड बै ट्वेलव अंड दट इज वाट ई हेव हियर आलो ई होप ऐ मेकिंग से वाट इज द क्वेश्चन फैंड द ब्रेड ऑफ द लॉन अकॉर्डिंग टू द रेशो ब्रेड इज थ्री मीटर्स अकॉर्डिंग टू रेशो इट इज थ्री according to the question they are asking you how much first of all area is in meter square right now breadth is in meter that means multiplying factor should be square root of that value in the breadth 10000 square root is 100 12 into 12 square root is 12 that means breadth is 3 into 100 divided by 12 3 into 1 3 into 4 Four into one, four into twenty-five. Breadth is nothing but twenty-five meters, which is nothing but option E. It should not be any difficulty for my students when they are attempting your original examination hall. In your original examination hall, it should never be a difficulty for you people, sir. Next question, very very good question. Listen to this carefully, sir. Extremely good question. The question is. The length of a room floor exceeds its breadth by twenty meters. Length exceeds breadth by twenty meters. Length is twenty meters more than breadth. That is the meaning. The area of the floor remains unaltered when the length is decreased by ten meters, but the breadth is increased by five meters. That means earlier the length was earlier the length was L. earlier the breadth was b earlier the length was l earlier the breadth was b that means what is my old area old area is length l into breadth b now there are some dimension changes which are happening the length is increased decreased by 10 meter earlier the length was l now the length becomes l minus 10 Right now the length becomes L minus ten, and the breadth is increased by five meters. Earlier the breadth was five. Now the sorry breadth was B. Now the breadth is B plus five. It is increased by five meters. But this is my new area, but length into breadth. But the question says the area remains unaltered. That means when I increase the breadth by five and decrease the length by ten. whatever the old area i had that is exactly same as equal to my new area that means old area and new area these both are absolutely same that means l into b l into b is equal to l minus 10 Into b plus five. L into b is equal to l minus ten into b plus five. Now there are two unknown variables l and b, but there is another condition given. L is equal to b plus twenty. That means in place of l, I will write it as b plus twenty. So this is nothing but b plus twenty into b, or it is b into b plus twenty. Right hand side is. B plus twenty minus ten. Twenty minus ten is ten. So it becomes B plus ten. B plus twenty plus five. It is B plus twenty five. Right? It is B plus twenty five only. Right, sir? B plus twenty plus five. Oh. Why why am I doing like this, sir? It is in terms of b only, right? If it is in l, I should substitute as b plus twenty. So this becomes b plus five itself, right? This becomes b plus five itself. Let me erase it. So here it is already in terms of b, so I no need to shift it. It is b plus five. Now if I observe carefully, right hand side is nothing but b square plus twenty b. Right, sorry, left hand side. Right hand side is b square plus. B into five, five B. B into ten, ten B. It is fifteen B plus ten into five is fifty. B square cancels. Twenty B minus fifteen B is nothing but five B. Five B is equal to fifty. So B is equal to ten. B is equal to ten. And I know that B L is twenty more than B. So L is equal to thirty. I know B L and B. So area is nothing but thirty into ten. 
which is 300 meter square answer for this question is nothing but option c but again this is completely variable method of using or solving problems so let me try my level best to teach you another method after method 2 some people might feel method 1 itself is easy or some might feel method 2 as easy you decide which is the best method for you and please follow that method whichever you think that it is comfortable for you now listen to my method 2 what is the first thing which is given let me write it first method 2 i hope method 1 is clear for you people length is 20 more than breadth so that means l is equal to b plus 20 right l is equal to b plus 20 now they are asking you the area in the question right sir find the area of the floor in meter square is the question first option is 280 first option is 280 now think logically 4 into 7 is 280 2 into 140 is also 280 right 5 into 56 is 280 7 into 40 is 280 10 into 20 is 2 sorry 10 into 28 is 280 in 8 it will not go or it will go in 8 right yes 8 into 35 8 into 35 is 280 right like that there are multiple cases now if i take one of my one of them as length and the other as breadth length and breadth the difference between length and breadth should be 20 difference not 20 not 20 not 20 not 20 not 20 none of them is satisfying sir should i check it for everything I personally sometimes believe that rather than doing all these things, this method is only little easy. And what I will little smartly do is, second option area is 325. It is ending with 5, but third and fourth option are little easy. That means the third option is area is 300. 300 means it is little good number compared to 325. So although 325 is the second option, I will start working with 300. 2 into 150 is 300, 3 into 100 is 300, 4 into, 4 into 75 is 300, 5 into 60 is 300, like that if I keep doing, 6 into 50 is 300 and then like that, 10 into 30 is 300, right, 10 into 30 is 300 and then reverse process starts, 20, 15 into 20 all those things, right, 15 into 20 all those things, but if you observe carefully, I want the difference between length and breadth to be 20 units, this is not 20, none of them is giving you 20, but suddenly the last one gave you 20, 10 is length, 30 is breadth, length and breadth are 10 and 20 or length and breadth are 30 and 30 and 10 anything finally i want area because one of them is satisfying when i keep doing length into breadth like this this should be the correct answer sir will that if can i say that when i take option 325 second option what if one more satisfy here it will not be given like that sir any one option only will be given such that it will satisfy not two options given which will satisfy will be given if that is the case you cannot actually find length and breadth for this in a unique manner there will be multiple answers for this question then so you can check it out for 325 writing all the multiples and then check it out none of them will satisfy that the length and breadth are having a difference of 20 only in 300 it is satisfying sir why did you ignore the second option how come you can surely taste that i will start working with my third option skipping my second option because third option is easy sir it is 300 little easy 325 means i should think okay it is not a multiple of 2 will it be a multiple of 3 5 plus 2 is 7 7 plus 3 is 10 now 10 is not divisible by 3 so it is 3 325 is also not divisible by 3 next is 4 no 4 not possible 5 yes 5 into which number 5 into 6 is 30 okay i wrote 6 and then it is 2 remaining 25 5 into 5 is like that you will think a little bit but for 300 it's very easy 2 into 150 3 into 100 sir how did you write 4 into 75 little fast i doubled this 2 it became 4 when i double one of the value I should half the other value. 7, 150 half is 75. Sir, similarly, how did you write? How did you write this? How did you write this? Can I also write 
8 into something 75 i should half it half of 75 will be decimal so don't worry about it like that you can easily write for 300 suppose if 300 is not satisfying i will be little smart in checking for 400 but i will not check for 325 because 325 is ending with 5 all the other options are ending with zero i believe that i am making sense for you people if i check 400 suppose assume that 300 did not give you any option any value which is matching where the difference between length and breadth is 20 if it is not matching 300 might be incorrect in that case i will go for 400 and i will check the possibilities suppose if 400 is also not giving then i will mark my 325 i will never check and keep on writing all these values for 325 i will mark it and move ahead but definitely one of them will be satisfied as quickly as possible so completely it is up to an individual whether to use this quadratic equation method or this methodology whatever i taught you right now completely it is in your hands you might be thinking that method 2 might be little time consuming process but think logically in this way also suppose by chance if the first option itself is correct then you are saving lot of time and second thing what i can say is suppose by chance area given in this question is 280 325 300 400 Suppose if the area is very very small, 30, 22, 40, 18, like that small small numbers are given as answer options, then you will not have so much of factors actually. I hope I am making sense. This method will play a my vital role compared to your method one of variable or equation methodology. Anyway, completely up to an individual. You will be the decision maker which method to use. As a teacher, my role is to teach you multiple direction. As a student who is learning, your role is to pick up the direction whichever you think that it is comfortable for you. I hope the idea is very very clear for you people.